Why use the Reaper DAW? Well, I'm going to be showing in tutorials examples of how powerful Reaper could be. And in this specific um, example, I'm going to be showing how powerful it could be with dialogue in video games. So I have a session here, and this is just to give an example of how it would look like um, in a game um, session for one scene. So in this scene, I've split up the files into uh, characters by track. So the first character is Alan, and then we got Claire here, and then we have Mary. And you can see this is the, the um, linear succession of lines over time. So Alan has his first line, and then we have Claire having the next line, and then Mary's the next line. So if you set up your session this way, which seems logical, um, and you had your Excel spreadsheet, which had all the lines in it. Uh, here's an example, just of random, um, just an example of what an Excel spreadsheet could look like um, for a game. You have your characters on one line or one uh, column, and then you have your dialogue, which is the actual line, and then you have your audio file. And so, the beauty of Reaper for this particular case is that it has three embedded scripting languages. So with scripting languages, uh, the one I'm using is Lua, I can open a file, a CSV file, go search with you know certain logic I have, and the logic I have um, for this script is look for this audio file column, and then whenever you see an audio file name, make sure that that audio file is associated with the correct character, so making sure that Alan is this first line. So make sure that this first line is actually in the correct um, track. So make sure that's right and then rename it. And then it goes, you know, so on and so forth. So um, let's see if this works. So right now this correlates exactly. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this should rename properly. Um, so I have this to a shortcut. And um, I select the file that it's going to read in. And press OK. And then all of the lines are renamed properly. If you look at the CSV file, the first line is all game melee start 01. All game melee start 01, meaning Alan. And then the last line is uh, mar game taunt 02, mar game taunt 02. So properly renamed the files. And that was in milliseconds. And also, I wrote in some error uh, correction or looking for errors. So let's say I, I was going along and I accidentally put this in the wrong track, meaning the wrong character. My script, and I'll just rename all these nothing. And then, so what I do is I highlight the files I want to rename. I go into my script. I select the CSV file. And you can write this in Reaper. It's amazing. A dialog box comes up. It says error. It says the actual name. And so you know that it's the Claire line, which I took it from the Claire line. So that makes sense. And then when I press OK, it zooms into the file, highlights it red. So you can see it within a massive session. It really helps. That's amazing. In the DAW, in the actual DAW, you can do that. So you can go look back at your CSV file, see that you had these two Allen lines, and then it's supposed to be a Claire line. You're like, oh, shoot, I put it in the wrong track. Um, and also, it stopped there. It didn't rename these other ones, which is cool. Um, you know, redo my script, find the CSV file, and it's happy. It renamed it properly, and it did it in milliseconds. Can you imagine? I mean, dialogue people trying to rename this, which you would have to rename almost by hand each one, and that's just nine files. Imagine thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of files. This could be an incredible time saver. Um, so yeah, that's just an example of how powerful Reaper could be um, in dialogue specifically.